Tennessee Bureau of Investigation provided its first update in a week in the search for five-year-old Summer Wells. That's right. The TBI said they have now about 870 tips received, and today they confirmed the investigation is still active and ongoing. They're looking, we believe, for the driver of a red or maroon Toyota Tacoma pickup truck that was seen in the area of Ben Hill Road the afternoon Summer went missing. TBI said that person's a potential witness as they continue their investigation. Amy Cochran has been following the latest on Summer's disappearance and talked with a former investigator investigator about Summer's case. Josh and Sarah, earlier today I sat down with Deb Richmond. She's a former investigator for the Bristol, Tennessee Police Department. She's dealt with child abuse and sexual abuse cases in her time as an investigator. She says that in a missing child case like this one, odds of finding Summer safe shift as time passes. As each day passes, it, it is more uh, alarming that she may not come home safely, but there have been children found. After almost 30 years as an investigator, Deb Richmond now works for the Branch House, a resource for victims of abuse crimes. Even though she's not an investigator anymore, Richmond has been following the Summer Wells case closely. If they're not letting information out to the public, it may be, and I'm just saying this from experience, it may be because they have some good leads that they can't afford to, uh, for the public to be involved in. Richmond says she's investigated many abduction cases where children were taken by family members, but she says stranger abductions are rare. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is a great help. Amber Alert is one tool, as I mentioned, um, in those very, um, Critical cases, it's used, uh, alerts are issued about 200 times a year, but as I said, the National Center sees reporting of children up to 30,000 cases a year. There's no doubt in my mind that they are working night and day and, and thinking of all kinds of different ways to get this solved and to bring her home safely. Richmond tells me from her experience, she knows that the investigators on Summer's case right now are experiencing many sleepless nights as they work tirelessly to bring her home. Sarah. Amy, thanks. TBI says the smallest detail could prove to be beneficial to this investigation. If you have any credible information that could lead to locating Summer Wells, call TBI at 1-800-TBI-FIND or email tips to tbi at tn.gov.